Uh, 76-2 comes next. Uh, th this pig uh, would be uh, the result of a, a group of breads that we bought uh, from Schwecky. Uh, we've watched uh, Schwecky's for, um, program for a long time and, and sure admire what uh, uh, Zach's been able to get done. So we were a little short on these Januaries, and, uh, and when he offered that group of, of, uh, of sows and gilts, uh, private treaty, uh, uh, we sure jumped at the opportunity to add some of those. Uh, pedigree here on the 76s. Uh, 99 problems on a last minute, and uh, again, this would be the first litter that that, that uh, particular sow has uh, farrowed here. So I just can't give you a ton of backstory, but I, I can tell you that uh, this looks like an awesome built one that uh, uh, that this can continue to get better every day of his life and uh, fits into that late summer and, and fall show window. And, uh, uh, man, I think if this one does the right things, he, he's got a real shot. <clears throat> I like him a great deal. That, that's a guy that one has a – Great presence and watch that profile, man. That's a cocky, uh, high-headed one that's uh, really good out of his front end. Uh, length of front and jawline's excellent. Again, a good-chested one, uh, excellent his knee. Again, no deviation there at all. Good-footed, the right kind of bone, clean-jointed, the right length of body. Green in his muscle pattern and green in his maturity to, to, to make you think you can get pretty creative and roll pretty hard with that one. And, again, go the right pace on that one. That one's going to be killer there mid-fall, I would think, uh, um, again, put sleeper list, short list, whatever. That's a very nice pig in 76-2.